Oh no, so we've got Team No Gas. Got our engine, Steve, the courier. Yes. Thank you, sir. Promised you a couple of days, and here we are. Beautiful. Uh, now, here we have my old mate Benny. Thanks. Oh, hello. Yeah, mate, there's a present for you. So, next time we know how long exactly you go for a long at all pressure for. So, seems a big red light in your face isn't enough. So, ben, Benny tells me the other day. He has been a little bit emotional since some nats that I drove the car too long with no oil pressure. So a quick rundown on the race pack. There's no hiding, is there? There's definitely no hiding. We have the problem with Dad. Nah, I don't hit limiter. Nah, I don't do this. This thing, don't lie. So we got all the truth there now, so there's no hiding from me. So Steve, your race pack. Jumped out of shot here. Steve, obviously still is. Steve, with your race pack, every time you come, I've actually been in the car with you once. We come off, we said, I didn't think you revved it that hard. Your yeah. comment. Yeah, no, I didn't think we revved it that hard either, but uh, once you plug it in, this uh, this thing doesn't lie. There's no hiding behind anything, and it is what it is. So if Benny is in Australia, this is unfortunate for me, so if Benny's in Australia at home, I'm over there on Clotus' pad, ripping it up, win 100 off Steve, I do something wrong, I can't hide. So I fought this for three, four years. Yeah, he didn't want to, didn't want to do it. And he bought me a Christmas present. Oh no, so Steve's put the engine in. Uh, car behind me, we're going to get that off the hoist. We're going to get the wall boot out of the showroom. We're pushing for time. I'm going to get the whole crew on this car. Let's try and get it fired up. So, if you were, if you, were you guys watching us pull apart now, it's only all finger tight, so it's going to be very quick to disassemble. Uh, Matty's already got the ra race radiator out again. Um, but as we do it, when we built the car, we made sure that everything comes off the front, just in case the engine and trans has to be pulled out. Now, if you drive like I do, and you drive when the oil light's on, you are going to pull the engine in and out a few times. So, we made the whole front of the car, or the boys at the rod shop for me, have made the whole front slide out. So engine and combo goes in really easy. So uh, for that, it works really well. And this has happened more times than it should have. Right, so the engine's about to go in. We've made a couple of little changes before we put it in the car so it clears the firewall. So in here, now this is all for the great race pack. So we've got our switch here, which will give us our oil pressure for the race pack. We continue with our mechanical gauge up here so I can keep an eye on it, and we keep our dead man light. So there's the race pack new sensor. We've had to put in a little bit of an extension. Also here, this is here where we screw our oil filter to and oil filter fittings. Now I've already got one sensor in it. The other one's been put in for the race pack. So it's got my gauges, my sensor, and on cue, which everyone's going around flat out. Mate, thank you very much. We're welded in for our probe. So as per Penny's instructions of where he wanted, you see the boys have ticked these in. Just get out of that. Trying to get out of everyone's way. We're in the way, but more importantly, they get the job done. So they've all been ticked in. So I'll check with the boys over the back. We'll throw the engine mounts in roughly in position. Engine and trans in, we're getting closer. Alright, so the boys have got the engine hanging in position here. Trans is on the back. We've set our engine mounts over our engine staunches. We just lay them back. 
And now the next thing we'll do is put our extractors in. Now, they're two and a half inch primary, so you won't get any bigger than that. So we'll drop them in position, try and juggle them the best we can, then we lower the engine in. So it's all got to happen in sequence. So stay with us, we'll see how we go here. Right, engine and trans is in, extractors are just dummied up, sitting in there, just loosely finger tight. What we're going to do now, back the car around the corner, get it up onto the hoist. We'll get all the work done underneath it, starter motor, torque converter bolts, double check over underneath, get what we can done, lower it back down, then we'll finish the engine bay off. Right, so we're just working on the car. We've got it on the hoist. Steve's put my tail shaft in for me. I'm going to bang the shifter on. Matty gets a short straw. He's got to squeeze the starter motor up in that gap now. It's super tight. So me and Steve have a win once again. Unlucky for Matt, but a few quick chores and we'll get it back on the ground. Then we'll get on to the easy part, the engine bay. Right, so I've got my crew working on the car, they're nearly done. So I'm going to start prepping up some stuff for the engine bay now. When removing the engine, we've kinked the line there. You'll see a bit of a flat spot in it, it's got a bit of a kink in it there. Now, that's running the oil from the engine. So the guy, I bombed out last day's summer, that's for $20 worth of bolts. That's $20 worth of line probably there. So take the fittings off, we can reuse the fittings. We'll replace $20 worth of line just so we don't lose oil pressure because if that collapses, when I'm at 7,500 RPM, it's going to starve at a boil. So when you change, you're going to wear changing anything here. If we damage something, removing it, we make a note. As we reassemble, we, re we remake. All right, so I've dismantled both ends off. So they're reusable, as you can see. They thread in and out. Give them a really good clean up before you reuse them. Damaged piece of hose. We're just going to get that back on our coil here. Lay it out so we get our right measurement. Now, if you don't, have a set of cutters at home to make it real easy. The guys at the track all do it with their battery grinders. It's not the correct way, but it will work fine. To just show you guys how to get in trouble. Put half a dozen good layers of tape in there. In the middle where you're gonna cut it, so center of tape is your cut. Ideally use a vise, guys at the track normally don't. Gently hold it, but do not squash the hose. Safety glasses. And we'll just do a clean cut. Now cut's really easy. Now, I, that is not the ideal way to do it, but for you guys at home, you've only got to do one or two, rather than buy yourself a three or $400 set of cutters to get yourself out of strife, that is a quick and easy way. Now, after doing it, blow it out, wash it out, clean it two or three times, it is in your oil system, refit the ends back on, ready to fit back to the car. Right, so the ignition's on, you'll notice the red light. We've got a few lights on the dash, so the boys aren't too far away. Uh, they're out there, they're bleeding the water system at the moment for me. Now, we're just topping the oil up. Uh, it's a slow process, but once it's in there, it's in a really good location. So I run the oil tank in front of the passenger with a false wall. Uh, you can see we have a gauge down here, so it gives me a mechanical temperature and a height. Um, unfortunately, the fill unit is up under the dash, so we'll squeeze a few more bottles in. You can see the oil gauge is starting to come up here. So as the oil gauge starts coming up here, we normally about four litres from where we need to be. So the car will hold 17 litres. Now ideally we run about normally 15 litres of oil and we run two litres of thickener. So we'll put our 15 litres of oil in for a start, run the engine in and then we'll, uh, we'll throw some thickener in. Or correctly known as stabiliser. And what we have is the oil heater, so it's a probe inside the tank, so we just run the lead out the side. Quick plug-in, about an hour on there heating the oil and we'll be ready to start. 
Right, okay, so it's time to crank it over. We'll check our oil pressures. Uh, we've got oil in it. Everything's looking really good. So we don't have the race pack hooked up yet. So we'll just say our traditional road shop way that's been working so far. Uh, we use the heat gun, warm the car up, check each cylinder. Once we know everything's happy, a couple of these guys can knock off for the night. They work really well and I appreciate it. And then me and Benny will hang around late into the evening, hopefully. We'll get a race back all sorted out. So crank it over, we'll see what happens, eh? Just stay in the car, that's all you can kill it. Go. Alright, so first hit, we cranked it over, oil pressure, made sure the belts were aligned, everything's really good. Uh, we fired it up, bit of fuel in it, takes normally a couple of goes. Now, the boys are just checking over, we've got a little bit of fuel leak, so. Four or five guys working flat out, as you guys have seen on the car, you are going to get a couple of legs here and there. So the idea is keep checking over it. We'll start the car, we'll warm it up, we'll get some temp, make sure our pressures are really good. So just, just sort out this little fuel leg. I'm assuming it's just a fitting. I couldn't imagine it being too much. And hopefully shortly we'll start it back up again for you. Might be the O-ring on that. No, it's coming out. Is that? The O-ring. Yeah. It's coming out of that, you know, the shut-off valve? That O ring for like it does on the barrel valve. Oh, yeah. Give it a bit of a tap. It'll soak up. Yeah. All right, so. Just it out. Yeah. In front of our barrel valve on the shut off, it's the same sort of thing. So it's an O ring. They do dry out from methanol. They normally take up. So what we normally do is pressurize the system, let it sit for an hour or so, and double check it. Them O rings normally soak, but or we'll have to flick it apart for a new O ring. So it has happened in a couple of different tracks before where we've had to flick the O ring, but normally punch the methanol back in, the rubber O ring will swell, and away we go again. Try that. Now obviously, getting out of the car everything's all good. Now the smoke that's poured up, we're all covered in oil. We've been working, we've both the extractors working all over them. So every time you fire these things back up first time, you're gonna get a lot of smoke, you're gonna get a lot of burn off. Now, it is only the oil, everything's warmed up. I've got mechanical pressure in the oil gauge, is all I kept an eye on. The guy's got cylinder temp in each cylinder, which the thumbs have gone up there. We've still got a slight leak in the front, so we're gonna keep an eye on that. We're gonna work ahead now to get that race pack in. Alright guys, so the car's all running now, so it's time to sort of put the race back in. Um, the boys in the machine shop looked us up a bracket earlier, so we sort of cheated there, so the boys are going to mount that in the car for us. Somewhere we're marking C, um, obviously not next to the oil light, because he doesn't see that. Um, just with the race pack, you know, we've got temps, so we've got oil temp, water temp, we've got uh, pressure, so we've got boost gauge, oil temp, uh, sorry, oil pressure, um, RPM, so we can track that. Um, couple extension leads and, and bits and pieces like that so in the next couple of hours or so we'll have it all wired up and ready to go so stay tuned and we'll show you when it's all done. All right so it's the next day we're back inside the Warburg. We've got our race back, it's all lit up. 
Now, we've only, we've only dummy wired it, so they're just locked over, picking up a few terminals out of the uh, ignition system there. Now, we've got Benny over there on the laptop. He's looking a little bit tired, but he's going along nicely. So, uh, where are we at, Benny? What's our story? Um, we just can't get an RPM trace. So, um, I've been on the phone to race pack this morning in the States, um, and they just sent me a couple of emails back and forth, just helping me out how to get an RPM trace on it. So. Um, with the old heater on at the moment, so it's going to fire up soon. And just here we have solved the issue, so fingers crossed it all comes up and we are right to rock and roll and mount the race pack in there for good. So, just see what happens. All right, so the plan with the race pack is I'll take the oil line out, um, the original, and we're going to keep that, put it up onto the column there. We've made a little bracket, which is floating down here somewhere. So, a little bracket the boys made just saying the sheet metal, we'll pop it down here, we'll set the race pack in there nicely and uh, it should be all good. So fingers crossed in the next 20 minutes or so, we'll fire up. Maybe we're here all day trying to work out the problem, but race pack have been really good. Ben's been on the phone to them. Uh, they've been very helpful. So to you guys over there, thanks. All right, so what the plan is here is we need RPM. So we've got two gauges, so hopefully it'll dial around the top. Hopefully we'll get in the center there. So good luck, this will be the moment of truth. All right, so that's all gone to plan. Now, we were struggling, there was a few little issues, but the guys, like I said, at Raceback, on the phone this morning, a couple of emails, and they're responding to their emails straight away. So, much appreciated, guys, and hopefully we'll get out to America and we'll show you guys what this thing's got. Right, so the Warbirds are live. Uh, Team No Gas Performance have done an awesome job. Benny, are we happy with the engine? Yeah, everything's going good. So, get the car running, all the Racebacks are working now. Um, fired it up a couple of times, and it seems to be happy what it's doing, so my side of the job's done. Um, it's all running, it's all happy. So the boys at the rod shop here are going to do a few more little things on it before it goes into a, into the trailer and sent to the USA. But yeah, I'm happy with it so far, so I'll leave it up to these boys and I'm sure it'll be a good head. All right, so we've got the engine ready for the US. Benny's checked out the transit already, so he's done his bit up front. We've got a few things to do. So follow us guys on social media, Team Rod Shop. We've got a massive year coming, a massive trip. Thanks for watching.